guys, just a quick chemistry video today on the relative reactivities of benzene, phenol and cyclohexene. I have a past exam question here. It says, explain the relative resistance to bromination of benzene compared to phenol and compared to cyclohexene. So I'm just going to go through how you would go about answering a question like that. So the first point you want to raise is that in benzene the electrons are delocalised in a pi electron cloud. So that means that benzene has a really low electron density and because it has a low electron density it's not able to induce a dipole in a bromine molecule. For that reason you need a catalyst for the reaction. It uses the catalyst to create a powerful electrophile in the form of a Br plus ion. So now because this ion is a powerful electrophile it can attack the benzene ring and make the reaction happen. Now cyclohexene and phenol react more readily than benzene and they don't require a catalyst to react with bromine. With cyclohexene this is because it has a double bond so there's an area of high electron density within that double bond so it's able to polarise the bromine molecule without the need of a catalyst. In the case of phenol obviously there isn't a double bond but the hydroxyl group is electron donating a lone pair of electrons on the oxygen atom is delocalised towards the ring. So because these electrons are delocalised towards the ring, that means there's more electrons in that area, so the electron density has increased, and so it's able to polarise the bromine molecule just like cyclohexene. So once again, the main points to cover are that benzene has a low electron density because the electrons are delocalised in the pi cloud, Therefore, it's unable to induce a dipole in a bromine molecule and requires a catalyst. Cyclohexene has a higher electron density because of the double bond where electrons are localised and so it's able to induce a dipole in a bromine molecule. The hydroxyl group in phenol is electron donating, so a lone pair of electrons on the oxygen is delocalised towards the ring, so the electron density is higher and it can polarise the bromine molecule. Also another point to remember is that it might not necessarily be bromine that they give you in an exam, it can be chlorine or it could be another molecule that isn't a halogen where they just want you to apply these principles.